Morning everybody, I'm here at Little Bellhurst Country Park which as you can probably hear is quite close to the M25 and today I'm going to be trying to film dragonflies hopefully in flight I had a good look around all the wetland area but I didn't find very much so I've come here to the fishing lake and straight away I found loads of black-tailed skimmers they seem to like sitting on this load of wood here so I'm going to try and get some dragonflies in flight Perhaps the easiest way to do that is to find a perched dragonfly and wait for it to take off. To film this, I'm going to use the GH6 and the Panasonic 100-400 lens because I might need the option of zooming out to show the taking off. I've zoomed out to about 150mm, oh it's just taken off and you can probably see there I left a bit of space for the dragonfly, oh look it's just landed again, fantastic. I've left a bit of space there for the dragonfly to take off into so I can film it as it flies and I'm shooting at 240 frames a second so I can slow it down and this is what the footage came out like I'm also shooting some at 120 frames a second so I can shoot 4k as well and you'll note that my aperture is quite narrow I'm shooting f11 to maximize the depth of field so I get it in focus for as long amount of time as possible there it goes I was filming away at the mouths on a bit of wood and then a mating pair turned up And they kept sitting on the vegetation. And then I looked a bit closer at one of these black tail skimmers and noticed it had blue eyes, which means it's actually a scarce chaser. Possibly a first for this site, certainly for me on this site anyway. resist getting a few steals as well especially when this scarce chaser turned up I've now moved down to a spot where I saw lots of emperor dragonflies last year there's a bit more vegetation on the lake around the surface and I'm expecting to see some egg laying females I'm going to stay on the tripod for now keep the zoom lens but I might take it off if I think I need to for some flight footage but yeah I'm just going to crack on with this setup for now I'm going to stay Switching between the HD 240 frames a second and the 4K 120 frames a second how I need it, so let's see what I can get.
that was very productive. Uh, I didn't get any male emperors in flight though, which is what I was after. But we had lots of these egg laying females. And we glimpsed it down the emerald, but I didn't manage to get a picture of it. But there were some lesser emperor males flying around. But they weren't hanging around, they were just darting around. But in a rather smug moment, I predicted that they might attack the female. And then this happened. <laughs> And I got some stills as well. The sun's moved around a bit, so I've moved to the other side of the lake. I've just come to the furthest swim or clearing at the edge of the lake that I could get to. And as I walked up, I flushed a tandem pair, that's a male and female joined together, of lesser emperors. And they flew right to the other side of the lake, which is a bit annoying because it's right next to where I was sitting before. And then they flew back. A bit of an awkward angle, but I've got some footage. And I think I'm gonna hang around here and see what else I can see. Well, I've seen and filmed plenty. Got a few photos too. Frustratingly, no male emperors patrolling the lake anywhere. There's a few over the meadow, but none in a position where I could film or photograph them flying around. So that was a bit annoying. And the lesser emperors weren't much more cooperative. Uh, just a few grab shots there. But yeah, I'll have to do another video when the migrant hawkers and southern migrant hawkers come out, I think. See you then. <laughs>